Hello my lovelies and welcome to Fallout 4. A fun little trick today we're gonna do is decorate the pool table. So if like me you're looking for a realistic kind of experience while playing Fallout 4, I put out the um, pool table that you can use when decorating your settlement. And I thought it'd be really cool if we could, ex excuse me Preston, it's not nice to interrupt. Thank you. So it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> We're going to decorate the pool table. There happens to be some pool cues that you come across along the way. Here or there, you'll see them in a, a trader for barter. So I thought maybe there was more. And slowly but surely, I've been able to find a couple of pool, uh, pool cues, some more of them, and some balls for the pool table and I thought this would be really cool in case someone else wants to try it so um, just in case you don't know how to decorate with a found item um, these are just uh, about three or four that I found today and we're gonna start with let's see the 15 ball you're gonna go into your inventory in the junk folder and hit square or your drop button if you're playing on a different system to drop one item and I do one item at a time most of the time maybe two I don't drop more than that for uh, the the sheer worry that you know something will fall through the floor or uh, get lost in in the process of dropping it so I hit square on that okay so now what you're going to do is hold down X or what your take, take button is. And this will happen, so don't worry about it. It's, it's okay if it falls, but um, maybe because it's a little bit heavier. Sometimes it can hit the cord if you have, like I do, a power cord um, hanging from the ceiling. But you want to go nice and slowly. You can let go of X once you hold X down. On the item you can let go until you're ready to place it and let's say we're gonna place it right here you hit X one time to drop it there you go we just added a ball to the pool table what do you call them pool balls what do you call them balls right um, okay so let's add another one say the five ball and drop that and then hold down X until you see that the take word disappeared. And then you can let go. You wanna go nice and slowly, try to avoid a cord like you see hanging above me at the moment, but if it hits it, just pick it back up again. When you move kind of fast, it also drops, so that's why I'm saying it's not big of an uh, issue. And then you'd like to drop it anywhere you want, and it really starts to take shape. I even found the rack that you kind of put them in the center of the table um, right here and I'm I'm gonna put that on there too so I'm gonna drop one and I'll show you where I found these there might be another part of the game where there's more I haven't um, discovered it yet but I'm not done with my game and I'm gonna go ahead and show you where I did find the, let's see, 15 ball, five ball, and the 12 ball, where I found those today. I also have an eight ball and a, the white one, the cube, but I don't remember if I found them in this spot or not. Um, I've been saving them in my main house of my settlement in a storage box so if I find some more I'll update the video in the description below so I think it's adds a little bit to the ambiance it's not necessarily important for the game but it adds a little bit of something when you're decorating the environment um, it may not make a dis distinguishable difference in the mood of the settlement but it just seems to me that they're a lot happier and it stays happier when 
I put up paintings, I decorate and put some effort into decorating. So I'm decorating, <laughs> or at least that's the excuse I'm giving. <laughs> so here you go. Here's uh, just a few little decorative items for your pool table. And it really does add some character to the place. This settlement here is sanctuary. I'll walk outside so you can see where I'm at. Okay. And obviously this is after having cleared the debris from the locations where you can clear debris. This wasn't one of them. So I just um, chose a house that's a little bit... Oh, here we go. Okay. This is my crafting house. Basically, I have the workshop table out here. I think this is exactly where you find it in Sanctuary. Just to give you an idea of where I placed the pool table. It's that house right there. This nice blue one. And I also have used these empty houses for, for beds, tables, and... I've got kind of everything in the midst of building the settlement uh, because it was done. I'm just adjusting it now that I know there's a 19 person limit. So before we close the video, I'd like to show you where I found these. Um, did I put all of them? Yeah. Okay. I'd like to show you where I found all of them. There is a place that you can discover. I don't think there's a quest to go there but there's a little mini quest when you get there and it's called General Atomics Galleria. You may have heard it mentioned um, in one of your missions. There's a place that you need to go to um, very early on in the game called Skylanes Flight 1981 and if you just go to the east direction you'll find General Atomics Galleria. When you arrive at the location, you'll notice that there are some robots there and no one else. And they will attack you if you, um, well, obviously if you start shooting at them, but if you just try to take anything from inside the buildings. So instead, if you, if you want to, you can meet with the director. The going through the front gate will activate this for you. This robot that meets you here at the General Atomics front gate. Here's uh, kind of the, the road so you get an idea of what it looks like. This robot here will introduce himself and he'll tell you um, that they're closed. And if you use your um, charisma uh, to convince him that you are the supervisor they've been waiting for, He'll tell you to meet with the director, and you'll walk to the left, and a little bit further left, sorry. Just turn, just you want to keep your eye on this center robot structure, because there's going to be a little pink, or my, my color is pink, I guess, green. <laughs> um, and you can ride it all the way up to the top and speak to the director. Hit this button here. Once you speak to the director, and you let him know that um, you are the person that he's looking for and is there another way other than having the password kind of thing. Once you get all of that taken care of, you'll be able to go to any one of these buildings, take 99% of what you um, can grab will be available to be picked up without it being stealing. I say 99% because there is one item and it's in the department store on the counter where the, the cash the cash register is to buy something? right here. It still says steal. That's the only thing I've seen. Everything else has been um, something you can take. So, Have a nice day. see, there you go. Um, all right, so let me show you really quickly where I found the pool stuff. Um, this little quest really does it just makes it easier for you to be able to grab everything that you find here it's really heavy but you get a great source of plastic and lead those are two that were a great you know location to find a bunch of them so 
We're inside of the bowling alley. I'm sorry I didn't show you the front of the building before I walked in. The uh, robots here will not make you pay or anything to get in and they won't fuss with you. No one else will try to shoot you and kill you outside also when you do the quest the way that I mentioned. Okay, so this is the front door. Yeah, otherwise they will, they will try. Um, this bowling alley is pretty neat. You get a lot of plastic from the bowling balls. And where is it? Okay, so um, front entrance, make a right, and then go right up the stairs. It's a small place. It's not easy to get lost. And it's right here. I found the bowling balls on top of the bowling balls. I'm sorry. The pool balls on top of here and here. There weren't that many. I've searched the floor. I haven't really... <laughs> seen any but I did find some pool cues here and the the racks I found two hanging here in case you're looking for those and I stood on top of the table to make sure there weren't any hidden in the little pockets just check your game too just in case something did slid in there I don't think they'll fit but even though they're supposed to I don't know if they fall in there but it's a good place to check and that's where I found the pool cues and the, the balls and everything like that. If you have any questions or any other little tips and tricks that you're looking for in a video, please let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can be notified the next time I put up a video. And I do really appreciate the support for my gaming videos and my art videos. So thank you very much. And um, yeah, that's it. Pool. Pool table. Pretty awesome. I wish you could play with it afterwards, but <laughs> that's it. Alright, thanks everybody. Bye-bye.